Caroline and is one of our account supervisor here on Amazon. And he will be the one to assist you further in regards with your concern today, okay? Thank you. Um, just stay on the line. Um, let me just go ahead and try to connect you over. Thank you. Have a good one. You too. Hi, welcome to Amazon. My name is Rafa, one of the account supervisor. And I'm speaking with Sam. Yes. Hi, Star. How's your day going? Not very good. And, 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 and Amazon's not making it any better. So I have never in my entire life had to ask for an Amazon supervisor. This is the first time in my life that the, the uh, very nice young lady who has been helping me has failed to help me. So, I, I, I am sorry to, to have to bother you, brother, but, but I'm sick and tired of it all. I have, uh, what, what I have been going through, I don't know how much you're aware of what's going on here. Do you, or, or do you know anything about what I'm trying to do, or do, do I need to start from the first word of this story? Yeah, um, for this, my agent told me that um, you would like to cancel the item. However, the seller doesn't have any option to cancel it on their end. And also, you have also contacted the um, the carrier. And it, it, yeah. Because uh, the, 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 the seller has an option to intercept or to cancel the shipment. Is that right, sir? Uh, uh, okay. I started with UPS since UPS... It's sitting in UPS. UPS has the part right now. They have it. They admit they have it, and uh, but they are not going to cancel the uh, delivery tomorrow. I'm going to be in Vermont tomorrow. I don't need the part anymore that I ordered through Amazon. I don't need it. It will do me no good, and I will not be here to receive it. So I started this whole thing off calling UPS to cancel it. They are saying, sorry, no can do, that uh, even though they have it in there, uh, that they see it, uh, they have it in their possession, they are not going to cancel the delivery, that the only person who can uh, can cancel that delivery is this uh, auto parts warehouse now the big problem and of course on top of everything else the auto parts place is in canada not the u.s right now it's sitting in canada okay right it's, it's on the border on the canadian side of the border uh, at, at this minute is where it is. They said I needed to call the actual auto parts store. They said Do, don't call Amazon. They said I need to call the the actual person who sent me the thing. So they gave me uh, who I needed to call. So I called them and what they told me is Normally, that's true, but since I placed the order through Amazon, that they, even though they fulfilled the order, that they cannot pick up the phone and cancel the order with UPS. That, that Amazon is the only person who can cancel this order. So, uh, and, and, and now the, the, the agent I just spoke to, she agreed with the UPS agent that who needs to cancel this order is the auto parts warehouse, not UPS, not Amazon. The only person who can, who can handle this cancellation is the auto parts warehouse. I have spoken to them. They are pointing the finger at you. You and UPS are pointing the finger at the warehouse. The warehouse is pointing the finger at you and probably UPS. Everybody is pointing the finger at somebody else and nobody is helping me uh, block this order. 
I ordered it through Amazon. I don't want this thing showing up at my house. And, and, and I really don't want uh, my, my credit card being charged for a part that, that will do me no good. So what is your advice? I'm really, really sorry that you have experienced this issue. And yeah, um, yeah, that the the agent, the previous agent or my agent associate uh, told you that the UPS is correct. It should be contact the uh, the seller to, to intercept or to cancel the shipment. However, the seller told you that they can, uh, since this item is uh, purchased through Amazon, Amazon has an own, has an option to cancel it here in Ireland. However, that option is no longer available here because the item has been already entered with advanced shipping process and it's currently uh, shipping on the UPS. So what we just need to do here, um, Sam, is we need to contact the seller on your behalf to let them know that this should be intercept on their end because you, you don't need, uh, you don't have any person or you are not available on your address to, uh, to receive this package since you are traveling outside of uh, the state. And what we just need to do here is we'll be submitting a message to them in, about the cancellation request that you would like to cancel this and intercept the shipment through their warehouse and have a refund you about the $100.43 as well back to your card. And I will be submitting a, re a message to them, okay? So that they will be I, I, I have them. their name and phone number right here, brother. Yeah, I also I have their um, phone number here. Um, says uh, states on the website. Uh, if you don't mind asking, can you confirm to me the phone number that you are have it have on your end? So that the, we can the, the the number there? I called to talk to them, and and it it goes per, it goes through pretty quick. Six one three two eight seven three eight eight zero. I. See. On um, such expectation, it's a different number. I um, mean, you know who um, provide you that phone number? No, I did not. I, oh, that I just uh, uh, I just googled a uh, phone number for Auto Shock Ontario Canada, and it comes up six one three two eight seven three eight eight zero, and I called the number. And uh, they said, what are you calling about? And I said, returns. And they put me through to a woman, this very friendly woman, uh, who was all set to work with me until she found out I placed the order through Amazon. And then she goes, oh, well, sorry, there's nothing I can do for you. Uh, that Amazon is, is the only one uh, who can uh, who can cancel the order uh, is what is what she told me. Uh, so I I anyway, are are you going to contact somebody uh, at that seller's and and uh, say that uh, Sam does not want this part delivered and they and, and I want my uh, hundred dollars back or not get charged yes, or whatever's happened. Yes, sir, that's correct. I will be contacting the seller on your behalf to let them know that you don't want, okay. this, uh, want this item anymore so that they can intercept the package and to such expectation as well. Um, the, the mobile phone number that you have is a different mobile phone number that we have here on the website. If you don't mind, do you have a pen and paper there on your end so that you can write this, this, this down, their customer's, customer service phone number? What are, what are you giving me? Um, the uh, the auto shot phone number. Since you provide me earlier, is different phone it, number. Yeah. What do you have? have. Okay. Yeah. It's yeah. It's area code one eight six six nine nine zero three eight seven one. So that is a customer service phone number that is associated on the website. It's auto shot. Yeah, it, it, I, I'm sure. It, I, I'm sure you get the same. Uh, you you get the same. Uh, it, it's the same switchboard. Whichever number you use uh, it, it is irrelevant. It'll get you through to the same person. So, if, if I get back home on Friday and that part mm -hmm. is sitting here, 
that that means I'm looking forward to going back to the UPS store and sending it back. So uh, hopefully that part is not going to be here when I get back. Yeah, I see, sir. So yeah, I do understand about that. Um, Sam, so no worries about that also. Um, if the item is still delivered on your address, you may request here on Amazon to request a return label. So yeah. that they can, um, you can return it to here to the seller and request a refund as well. On that. Yeah, and I, I, I'm, I'm trying to keep from doing all that, but that that'll be our backup plan. So hopefully this is going to work. But you personally are yeah. telling me you're getting ready to call Auto Shack and and, uh, and tell them to cancel this order. They're they need yeah, sure. they need you to do that. So okay. I really, really appreciate it, and I am depending on you, Rafa, to uh, to do that for me. You have restored my faith, and you, you have restored my faith in Amazon. Thank you for that, um, <laughs> Sam. And nervous about this, I have successfully submitted the message from the seller on your behalf to let them know that you don't want this, this item anymore. Okay, I'm hoping it's not going to be here when I uh, when, when I get here. And then I will uh, check in. I'll, I'll just check in with you guys on Friday. All right. That's all we can do. Yeah. For this, um, Sam, is there any question or anything else that you would like to ask? No, this will hold else? me till Friday. And then we'll just pick it up. Hopefully there will be nothing to pick up on Friday. All right. I see, sir. So for this, bye for now. And thank you for calling Amazon Customer Service. My name is Rafa. Have a good day, Sam. And, yeah, thank you for traveling. Okay. Uh huh. See you. Thanks. Thank you. Bye bye. Jesus fucking Christ! I, I have been, been, been doing this for for a motherfucking hour, motherfucking hour. Uh, that Amish kid said, "Sam, don't." put the goddamn order in on those uh, th th all of this is uh, uh, over or those motherfucking uh, uh, over this brake light I have spent now c counting the last hour I have spent over four more hours of my life today uh, on, on, on this unadulterated fucking horse shit uh, motherfucking brake light uh, on this motherfucking truck. Uh, the guy on Saturday, just with a very preliminary, uh, he said it was my my front wheel bearing was the one tripping this ABS, and I needed to order uh, bearings. But, you know, take it to a real mechanic who could really do a diagnostic on what the fuck is going on there. And, and, uh, and the Amish kid said, Sam, uh, he, he didn't think it was the front bearing. Uh, he, he said, wait to get a second opinion on that. This is what this fucking 19-year-old told me. But hell no. What did I have to do it was come order these fucking $100 wheel bearings take it to the motherfucking shop today and, and uh, it has nothing to do with the fucking front wheel bearings is it it, it, it took 30 seconds to diagnose uh, this shit uh, the fucking rear axle seal has blown and, and there's fucking good god uh, there, there, there's fucking axle grease all over the goddamn ABS sensors and wire I don't know why the fucking Amish kid uh, didn't didn't see the goddamn uh, axle grease uh, on, on the fucking uh, on the fucking sensor uh, I mean the, the so now so so this fucking mechanic uh, who also does inspections he is telling me for $800, for $800, he is 90% sure that he can uh, that he can get rid of that light. 
So uh, it, it goes ABS light or no ABS light at this point. Now your fucking differential is leaking fluid, and and, and, and that could blow up on you. And, and now your fucking uh, rear brakes, which are only have a few miles on them, are, are, are totally saturated with, with, with fucking gear oil. Uh, they need to be fucking replaced. And we, we got to replace the fucking ABS wiring harness. He wants $800. And, and I, I'm saying, are you guaranteeing me that's going to get rid of the fucking uh, ABS and brake light? He goes, no, I'm not guaranteeing you, Sam. I can uh, I, I can uh, give you a, about a 90% uh, sure what is he goes what we're looking at would definitely be tripping that abs sensor and that brake light he goes so as long as there's nothing else tripping your fucking abs sensor and your brake light it's gonna fix the problem and i'll give you your fucking sticker and you're out of here but he goes if i fix that and there's something else in addition <coughs> tripping the thing he says your your front wheel bearings uh, feel fine to me. They're they're rock solid. Uh, so the Amish kid was right. Uh, so now I'm dealing with trying to get that hundred dollars back. So he's coming in at eight hundred dollars. So then I took it back to the mechanic who thought it was probably my bearings, but sent me to the $800 guy. So I go to his place and, and say, okay, I, I showed him uh, what the guy said. Uh, it showed him the readout, and, and uh, he said, I will do the job for 600 Well, he's good friends with the Amish kid. It was the Amish kid who introduced me to him. So I said, is there any reason this Amish kid uh, cannot do this job. And he said, there's no reason that Lewis, uh, should not be able to do the job. So then I, I, I went uh, and talked to the Amish kid and he looked at it and said, yeah, uh, I, I should be able to do it. Uh, probably he figures two to three hours. He's $30, you know, 60 to 90 bucks. I'll pay him a hundred bucks. Uh, to uh, to do this job, uh, and, and the parts are 150, so I've gotten it uh, from 800 to 250 dollars. So uh, I, I'm gonna do what this motherfucking mechanic uh, said to do. Uh, we're gonna we have to get that fucking seal fixed. Uh, replace that brake pedal, that that brake pad all soaked with oil, which in and of itself would be uh, fucking up the brake light. Uh, regardless of the ABS, we're, we're going to put the whole fucking uh, ABS sensor wire wiring harness in that fucking car. And if I turn on that motherfucking car and that brake light gets in, that's it. I, 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 I'm getting the fuck out of here and uh, I'm registering. The, the the that motherfucking uh, truck uh, in, uh, in in Florida and and be done with this goddamn shit. Uh, I, I have another day of my fucking life next week uh, and two hundred and fifty more fucking dollars uh, going into this. But I. Uh, you know, as the as the mechanic and the obvious kid were both saying, well, 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 Sam, look at the the the, the fucking bright side of this. Uh, if the if that goddamn brake light had never come on. Uh, that ABS, you never would have known uh, that your front brakes were. <coughs> five miles away from failing you never would have known that you, that that uh axle grease was pouring out of your axle and, and, and that your rear brake was worthless 
Uh, so uh, that fucking brake light, uh, as much as you've been uh, bitching about it, it probably uh, is going to end up saving you thousands of dollars, if not your fucking life and some innocent person's life. Uh, when the front brakes failed or the rear brakes failed or the fucking uh, differential froze up because all the fucking oil went out of the thing. So, you know, they're looking at me and say, uh, that's what warning lights are for, to tell you there's some fucking thing you need to be made aware of, you clueless fucking moron. Jesus fucking Christ. I should probably go ahead and get those front bearings put in anyway. Uh, that, that should be the lesson if those motherfucking bearings are here. I should probably uh, go ahead uh, and, and, and get those motherfucking uh, front bearings put in. You know, they, they've got 11 years and 200,000 miles on them. Probably as soon as I finish sending them back, uh, th those fucking things. Uh, really are going to fucking go out and, and set off this fucking ABS and this brake light again. Jesus fucking Christ. And, and what the hell happened to this beautiful fucking day? It's just completely gone to fucking hell. Uh, Jesus fucking Christ. <sighs> Car ownership. What a passport to freedom, a private vehicle. <sighs> My guys.